Now we are moving on from the British domain of 200 years of domination and we have emerged into an independent nation. Now moving on with the view that we are completely exploited in everything and we are suppressed in every point and we were made like slaves. This is the intention which was expressed by all the Indians. So we fought against the Britishers. We achieved our independence. Jawaharlal Nehru in the Constant Assembly made a clear statement that we are now breaking the shells of the past of India. But at the same time, we are making a garment for the future fitting all its requirements. So drafting a garment or making a garment is not an easy task. And what, how is the constitution linked with the society? We are making laws, framing laws. At the same time, we have to make the people or the citizens of India to feel that they are in the better hold. So the social engineering concept has emerged here. Engineering in the sense, giving a perfect plan of everything. Engineer is the one who plans everything. So society to be planned properly. All sections of people should be planned properly to reach their goals successfully. Now moving on to the here concepts. The main concepts which are addressed by Jawaharlal Nehru is that one we have discussed about the untouchability, how the untouchability should be discussed in the fundamental constant assembly we have seen, how it has to be defined, how the punishment has to be given, how broad mindedly they have thought like each and every corner of India should be given free of in irrespective of the untouchability or no untouchability at any point of time. Now moving on to the other aspect here. The other important major step which was taken by the Constitutional Assembly is granting special powers or privileges for scheduled cash and scheduled tribal community people. Because the most deprived people of the society of India is the scheduled cash and scheduled tribal people. In order to protect them and in order to lead them to the equal status of the other people and to get the real equality in the society, the people are to be governed properly and to get them success here, the supreme the scheduled caste and scheduled tribal people are given special requirements in the jobs, special reservation in the jobs. Even in the parliament, certain seats are reserved for them so that they can be brought up equally with the other communities and get them attached with them. And moving on to the other major step where the Nazis were felt uh, that they are superior and the Jews were feel like they were killed literally, the minority community and they should not be feel marginalized, the minorities. The right to the minorities also was being mentioned in the Constituent Assembly and in our constitution clearly mentioning that rights of the minorities are nowhere questioned or stopped at any point of time. So Jawaharlal Nehru was on the clear picture of social engineering of the constitution that untouchability should not be bared at any point of time and see the scheduled cash and scheduled tribal people should be given the equal importance and even necessary the other push up for them to make them equal with the other categories of the people and moving on to the minorities the minority rights of 1% or 2% or 10% people have to be protected very carefully and should be feel that they are secular outlook and no one is marginalized from the community because 80% of them are Hindus the remaining 20% of the people also have to feel secular these are the views which are expressed by them and they seriously strictly brought all these things and they incorporated them in the fundamental rights they brought some special laws and even they mentioned all these things in the directive principles of state policy also so that all the guidelines for the governments of central and the state governments also were given in this to ensure equality for everybody in this way the true spirit of democracy and equality was brought up in the framing of the constitution what is the present status of the constitution what is happening right now? What are the major changes which are brought in our constitution? We will see now.